cost of living in Tennessee versus the great state of Texas. Now, Tennessee and Texas have many similarities, including the temperate climate and the hot summers, milder winters, but Tennessee has a lot of benefits if you're thinking of relocating. Now, Texas in general has a flatter landscape than Tennessee, but both states actually have wooded parts in many parts of the state. In general, people are moving from Texas to Tennessee because of the cheaper cost of living, honestly. Uh, in 2019, more Texans moved to Tennessee than any other state in the entire country except for Florida. So when we're looking at the housing market differences in Texas and Tennessee, houses are going to cost a little bit less in Tennessee and that has a lot to do with why people would be relocating from Texas to Tennessee. So when we look at the average numbers uh, of the states and as well as the capital cities, now the capital city of Tennessee is Nashville, capital city of Texas is Austin, so we'll be looking at a comparison there. But as far as the states are concerned, according to Zillow as of October 2022, the average cost of a house in Tennessee is $309,460, which is a 22.7% change year over year over the last 12 months. So the, the price of houses in Tennessee has gone up just like the rest of the country for the most part. Now, the average cost of a house in the entire country is $357,810, which uh, brings Tennessee in a lot lower. It's about 86.5% of the average cost of a home in the entire country. So Tennessee, by and large, is a cheaper state to buy a home in, which explains a lot about why people are relocating here. Now the population growth in the last year has gone up 0.81% and the total population in Tennessee of just over 7 million people. So comparing the cost of a home in Tennessee to Texas, now the average cost of a home in Texas will run you $315,815. So it's a little bit more as far as the average cost of a home. Uh, that price in Texas is up 17.7%, again, like most uh, states in the country, and 88.3% uh, of the average home value in the entire country. So again, cheaper than the average in the country in Texas, but it's going to be a little bit more expensive of a home in Texas versus Tennessee. Again, explaining why people are moving to Tennessee, amongst other things. The population has grown in Texas as well, 1.35%. Much, much bigger state, obviously. Texas has almost 30 million people compared to the 7 million in Tennessee, but uh, cheaper homes in general in Tennessee than in Texas. So zooming in a little bit to the capital cities of each state, Nashville, like we mentioned, in Tennessee, the average cost of a home in Nashville is $458,485, which is up 25.4% year over year since last year. It's a little bit more expensive than the national average of a home, 128.1% uh, of the national average at 357,810. So the price of a house in Nashville is going to be a little bit more expensive than the average home in Tennessee or in the country, but not as much as the average price of a home in Austin, Texas, which is the capital city of Texas, right? So 630,677 average cost of a home in Austin, you're going to be paying about 176% of the national average. Everything else equal, the average cost of a home in the capital city is going to be more expensive, the average price of a home in the state is going to be more expensive, and that explains why people are moving to Tennessee, uh, cheap home prices even though the prices are rising just like everywhere else in the country. So when we're talking about the overall cost of living in a state, property prices are not the only thing that you take into consideration. Obviously you have to look at taxes and utilities and other things like that. So if you're looking at total tax burden in the state of Texas versus Tennessee, you're going to see that there is a lower tax burden in Tennessee as well. Texas tax burden total is 8.22%, which is 32nd highest out of all 50 states. Whereas Tennessee's total tax burden, 5.75%, is the second lowest. Only Alaska is lower right now as far as the total tax burden. And that breaks down into income tax, sales tax, and property tax. So when you're looking at income tax, Texas has zero state income tax. And uh, Tennessee is very low as well. They don't have any personal state income tax, but there is a corporate state income tax, which puts it at 0.06. So it's a very small amount of income tax. In the state of Tennessee, it's still the seventh lowest. Texas is the sixth lowest because they have zero income taxes at the state level. Now sales tax, Texas is at 4.15. Tennessee is a little bit lower, 3.98. And then property taxes, Texas is at 3.97. 
and Tennessee is 1.71. Tennessee is the second lowest property tax state in the entire country, only Alabama is lower. So that's where you're looking at the total tax burden of 5.75%. Tennessee compared to 8.22 in Texas. Cost of living wise, uh, you're looking at lower price housing and lower price tax burden from Tennessee to Texas. One other thing that uh, contributes to cost of living in general is the utility bills. And we don't break down everything necessarily, but just showing a little bit of a comparison. So on average, when you're looking at utility bills, it's very negligible. It's within about seven or ten dollars a month difference between Texas and Tennessee. Now both of them are right around three hundred dollars a month. Texas is at two ninety eight. Tennessee is at three oh five. So really no big difference there. The difference of cost of living between Texas and Tennessee does come in with the housing price and tax burden. Now just a little bit more fun information. This is not necessarily related to cost of living in either state, but the distance between the two states. If you were to drive between the capital cities of Nashville, Tennessee in Austin, Texas, you'd travel roughly 860 miles, which is uh, straight through, it'd be about 13 hours. So a pretty good drive between the two capital cities. Texas is a very, very big state in general. Tennessee is a very long east and west state. So it's a pretty good drive between the capital cities. Now, if you're talking about as you're driving, if there's a time change between the two states, Texas is centrally located in the central time zone, just like Tennessee. However, in certain parts of Texas, you will get into the mountain standard time, and in certain parts of Tennessee, to the east, is the eastern standard time. So it spans three different time zones, and it just depends on where you're going from one place to the next. But largely, both states fall right in the middle of the central time zone. So wrapping up the cost of living conversation when looking at Tennessee versus Texas, it's going to be cheaper overall to live in Tennessee than in Texas. Now this is factoring in the cost of homes, the total tax burden, and the cost of utilities on a monthly basis. If you've got any questions specifically about any of this, if you want to know what it's like to live in Tennessee, please reach out. We would love to have a conversation with you. We can explain some of the neighborhoods, some of the areas, some of the great things about the different parts of Tennessee and uh, what makes it amazing along with being cheaper than living in Texas.